welcome. We have our cute bot here, and we're going to add some things onto it. And I thought I'd add two things this time. I'm going to add an arcade button. I like arcade buttons just because they're bigger, easy to work with, and so those little, 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 little tiny buttons just are hard for my fingers to work with. And then I love NeoPixels, so we're going to add also NeoPixels. Um, you can get NeoPixel rings, NeoPixel sticks, NeoPixel rings of all sizes, NeoPixel strips. You can get a large, like, 5-meter strip and cut it down. All sorts of things uh, to add more lights to whatever you would like to build on top and around your QBot. So the QBot has two pin breakouts over here, pin 1 and pin 2. And that is what we're going to work with. Now, depending on what you get for your NeoPixels, that's going to tell you what kind of jumpers you need. Because this NeoPixel strip has alligator clips on it, I need a pin to socket setup. Um, some might need a socket to socket. It just depends on what you've got and what, or what you've been able to solder together. Okay? So you got to pay attention. you got to plug things in correctly. That's always the important thing. Um, so if I'm looking here, get this stuff out of the way. We look at the pins. We got black, red, and yellow, which means ground, power, and signal. Um, so here, if I've got black, red, and white, red is my power. Black is my ground, white is my signal. So I'm going to put these on pin uh, two. So black is ground, so black is my yellow. Got to keep them straight. Um, red is my purple, or my blue. And then my white is connected to a green, which is the signal. There we go. Now, our arcade button, it's got two connections here. So again, depending on what your button's got, what kind of what buttons you have, uh, how you maybe want to solder stuff, or actually just connect them. I have the same thing. I've got alligator to socket. Now, this is always the fun part, because I always forget. And it's not a big deal. Um, but obviously, one of these has to go to signal. So that's like the line input. Now, I never remember, does the other one have to go to power or ground? And I can't remember which way it goes. So I'm going to plug it into ground first. And we will see. If anything, if it doesn't work, then I flip it over to power. So let's go to our block here. So we added some NeoPixels. Um, so I've got to go get, go, go get that NeoPixel extension. I don't, I could get the cute bot extension because it already has it because it brings NeoPixels with it. Or I could just get the NeoPixel one, which is what it, what it brings with it. Uh, so now I need to set, I need to tell my micro bit that I have uh, some NeoPixels, a strip of NeoPixels. That's just a variable. They just named it strip. We could name it whatever we want, as long as we remember the name and use that name everywhere. It says they're on pin zero, which is wrong. I put them on pin two, remember? And then I think I actually have 30 LEDs on this. And I think that there's two different formats, RGB or plus white. No, we're not plus white. Uh, GRB format. We're definitely not a plus white. Um, which, that's all. I've never had to change that. So we told her we had a, we had a, a strip of pixels. Awesome. Now let's have them do something. So let's just have it show. Show is an important thing for NeoPixels. You can't just um, set a color. Um, you have to show. So if you do something like shifting pixels or rotating pixels, um, you also have to show uh, the strip. Strip show. Yeah, no, it sounds wrong. So, let's get out of there. Oh, there's more. What was the more? What was the more? 
uh, set pixels. Uh, we can set pixels individually. Um, we can set brightness. Oh, uh, what are the things? We can use RGB values instead of just, you know, red, yellow, green, blue, or red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet. You know, we can use RGB values if you want to do that. Um, right now I got rainbow. And now I want to use button. There's two ways to use the button. Um, the, it's on a pin. So I can use this on pin. And we're on pin one, right? Yeah, we're on pin one. I could also use pin. Where are you at? Nope, up here. I could also use pin like in an if statement, like a logic, like if the pin is pressed, do something. And we're just going to change light color. Um, so let's see, if pin is pressed, let's go show color, let's go show color red. And I'm going to do it two, two different ways so we can see and talk about this. Uh, this is pin one, right? Remember pin one. Got to make sure you change that. And so here's going to be the interesting thing. These should compete with each other, right? Because I've got it. If the pin's pressed and when the pin is pressed, who's going to win? That's the big question. Here's the logic. Um, how long does it take? For it to look for um, this. Now I better put a pause in here. Otherwise, it's just going to quickly. If I don't put that pause in there, it's going to do if pin one's pressed, show purple. It's going to go right back to rainbow. And then we're going to see what's going to happen here. Should we put a pause here? Yeah, let's put a pause there. Okay. Now let's see what happens. There's a logic of how quickly it runs this and what, when it sees the press as opposed to when it sees the press for this set of commands. It's a little different um, twist to it. Download, download, come on. And again, I, I'm not sure if I need to be on, uh, have my button hooked up to power or ground, so I just have it hooked to ground first, just to, it's a 50 50 shot. But downloading is taking too long. Sometimes it does this. So these, the button can run anything that's already on the QBot, right? It could, we could have it run the motors. We could have it run the uh, the headlights, the, uh, um, the servo that you might attach to it, the uh, NeoPixels underneath. I don't know why it's taking so long. And the, the QBot doesn't have, actually have to run like a car. You could just set it upright and build onto it. It's got uh, some Lego holes that you could build onto. All right, so we finally downloaded. So we can build onto it. I'm gonna figure out a way to build onto those holes too. All right, let's see what happens. So we got our rainbow. Then I'm gonna press the button. Press some button. Now we're back to rainbow. All right. It went purple, and then it went red. Purple, then red. Okay, I'm pressing the button a bunch, and we'll get keeping red. Well, again, it's three seconds, right? Um, that's really quick, three seconds for the purple. One, one thousand, two, one thousand. Well, and then it goes red for the rest. So, so. Oh, you can see it. We could turn off the lights. Maybe you'd see it better. Purple. 
flip them over to red and back. So that so they're competing with each other, right? Red, purple. Uh, they're competing with each other. Usually this on pin one uh, dominates. Usually. But interestingly enough, that's not happening this time. It's going to uh, it's going to the purple first. Okay, but that's something you have to play with with on your uh, with the logic sometimes. But sometimes you want to put the pin press with an if. Sometimes you want to put it here out by its by itself um, for timing purposes. So there's how you hook up a button. I hooked it up to ground and signal. My button is hooked up to ground and signal, not power. Two connections there on the button. And my NeoPixels went into the other pin. Ways to add some stuff. Play with it.